Hi everyone, welcome to art class. Today our inspiration is this guy, the American Red Fox. We're going to see if we can do some art ideas creating our own fox. Here's an example of a little fox we're going to make today. Today we're going to see if we can do some work with these words. Number one is shape. That's an element of art. We're going to use shapes. We're going to put texture on our fox by creating things that look like fur. We're going to see if we can do some overlapping where you put one thing in front of another thing. And the technique we're using today is called collage. So today you have three shapes you're starting with. We're going to begin with a triangle shape for our fox's face. So you turn it whichever way you would like. The fox has a little pointed snout, so the point goes at the bottom. So you're going to trace that triangle and then let's add some details. A fox has tall pointed triangle ears. So if you accidentally draw them too small, just go right over it and make it a little bit larger. You don't even have to erase. A circle for the nose and then for the white markings on his face go straight up and when you get about halfway up curve it over to the other side of his face. We don't have to draw his eyes today. We'll be adding those later. So for the fox's body let's use an oval. Just somewhere on your paper trace that oval shape and a fox has a white patch of fur on his chest. So at the top of your oval, sketch out a zigzag shape. Use a zigzag line and just put a patch of white. We'll turn that white in just a little bit. The last shape we'll use is for the fox's tail. So the pointed end, that's the end of the tail. The end of a fox's tail has white markings on it also. So somewhere near the end, draw a zigzag line across. Now we're using these three colors today. We're starting with white first. So go ahead and paint your fox's white fur. It goes at the tip of the tail. And today when you're painting, I want you to go back and turn your paintbrush upside down and add some texture to your fox's fur by drawing into the white paint. But guess what? If you let it dry, it's not going to work. So if you want to add a furry texture, you have to do it while the paint is still pretty wet. So on to the orange part of the fur. We're using a technique today called double dipping. Double dipping is where you put your paintbrush in one color. You just dip it in, pull it straight back out, and then put it in another color. And when you brush it on your paper, they will mix and mingle together to create something beautiful. So here I am brush, brushing on orange and white mixed together. I'm also adding some furry textures. You could even add a teensy bit of brown. Do you know what brown and orange make? Well, it makes a dark orange. But since brown is such a very strong color, such a very dark color, notice how I'm just getting a teeny dab, a teeny dab of brown, not a big blob, just a teeny dot. And then I'm going to dip it right into the orange, right into the orange, double dip that paint, and then brush it on. If you accidentally get too much, do you know how to fix it? You just dip your brush in the orange and just keep going. Anytime the orange or the white or the brown get mixed together, you know what it's going to make? It's going to make some form of orange. So we're painting the remainder of the fox today using the white, the orange, and the brown. But the way you mix the colors and the way you put those three colors on your paper, that is up to you. Now what do you think? Is it okay if you get out of the lines when you're painting? Hmm, let's think about that for a minute. Well, since we're going to cut this fox out next time, then yes, if you get out of the lines, it's totally fine. So today we will paint all the parts that are left over, 
put this paper in the drying rack and next time we will take it and add a background and turn it into our finished project. Thanks for being great listeners.